House Stark of Winterfell is one of the oldest and most honorable houses in the North, known for their motto, Winter is Coming. They are characterized by their resilience and strong sense of duty and honor. The Stark family, including Ned, Catelyn, and their children, play pivotal roles throughout the series. House Lannister of Casterly Rock is one of the wealthiest and most powerful families in Westeros. Their unofficial motto, a Lannister always pays his debts, reflects their financial might and influence. Key members like Tywin, Cersei, Jaime, and Tyrion are central to the series' political intrigues and power struggles. House Targaryen, originally from Valyria, is known for their dragons and their ancestral claim to the Iron Throne. With their motto, Fire and Blood, they are famous for their distinctive silver hair and purple eyes. Daenerys Targaryen, one of the last surviving members, strives to reclaim her family's throne throughout the series. House Baratheon of Storm's End is renowned for their strength and tempestuous nature, epitomized by their motto, Ours is the Fury. The house plays a crucial role in the series' early power dynamics, with Robert, Stannis, and Renly Baratheon all vying for control and influence. House Greyjoy of Pike in the Iron Islands is known for their seafaring prowess and harsh, independent spirit. Their motto, We Do Not Sow, reflects their raiding and reaving lifestyle. Theon Greyjoy and his sister Yara are key figures in the narrative, navigating complex loyalties and ambitions. House Martell of Sunspear and Dorne is marked by their fierce independence and distinct customs, encapsulated by their motto, unbowed, unbent, unbroken. The Martells, including Oberyn and Elaria, are known for their passionate and vengeful nature, significantly impacting the series' events. House Tyrell of Highgarden is a wealthy and influential house in the Reach, known for their political acumen and fertile lands. Their motto, Growing Strong, signifies their ambition and strategic marriages. Marguerite and Olena Tyrell are notable for their cunning and influence in court politics. House Tully of Riverrun values family, duty, and honor, as reflected in their motto. They often act as mediators and peacemakers, with members like Catelyn Stark, Nay Tully, playing important roles in the series' familial and political conflicts. House Aaron of the Airy in the Vale is known for their isolation and strong defensive position. Their motto, as high as honor, reflects their chivalrous and honorable nature. John Aaron's death sparks the series' initial political turmoil, and his widow Lysa and son Robin continue to influence events. House Bolton of the Dreadfort is infamous for their cruelty and the practice of flaying their enemies, embodied in their motto, Our Blades Are Sharp. Rose and Ramsay Bolton's ruthless actions significantly impact the fate of the North and the series' overall narrative. House Frey of the Twins is a powerful house in the Riverlands, known for their control of the strategically important crossing of the Green Fork of the Trident. The Freys are infamous for their role in the Red Wedding, where they betrayed the Starks, cementing their reputation for cunning and treachery. Their patriarch, Walder Frey, is manipulative and ambitious, seeking to advance his numerous offspring through advantageous marriages. House Mormont of Bear Island is a loyal northern house known for their fierce and independent warrior women. The Mormonts are led by the formidable Lyanna Mormont, a young but determined leader who commands respect despite her age. The house has a close connection to the Starks, with members like Gior Mormont serving as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, and his son, Jorah Mormont, initially serving Daenerys Targaryen. House Tarly of Horn Hill is a noble house in the Reach, renowned for their martial prowess and strict adherence to traditional values. Led by the stern Randil Tarly, they are loyal bannermen to House Tyrell. Samwell Tarly, Randil's son, joins the Night's Watch, escaping his father's harsh treatment and ultimately playing a significant role in the fight against the White Walkers. House Reed of Greywater Watch is a small but influential house in the Neck, known for their guerrilla warfare tactics and deep knowledge of the swamps. 
Howland Reed, the head of the house, is a loyal ally of the Starks and plays a crucial role in the backstory of Jon Snow. His children, Mira and Jojen Reed, assist Bran Stark in his quest beyond the Wall, highlighting their resourcefulness and loyalty. House Hightower of Old Town is one of the oldest and most powerful houses in the Reach, controlling the city of Old Town, home to the Citadel and the Hightower. They are wealthy and influential, with deep connections to the Meisters and the Faith of the Seven. The house is known for its strategic marriages and political maneuvering, enhancing their power and influence throughout Westeros. House Tarth of Evenfall Hall is a noble house in the Stormlands, known for their loyalty to House Baratheon and their island home of Tarth, often called the Sapphire Isle. Brienne of Tarth, a key member of the house, is renowned for her martial prowess, honor, and dedication to her vows. Her journey across Westeros highlights themes of loyalty, justice, and the breaking of traditional gender roles. House Dane of Starfall in Dorne is famed for producing legendary knights and wielding the ancestral sword, Dawn. Sir Arthur Dane, known as the Sword of the Morning, is celebrated for his exceptional combat skills and chivalry. The Danes are a noble and ancient house, contributing to the rich cultural tapestry of Dorne with their storied history and valor. House Karstark of Carhold is a northern house with close ties to the Starks, being a cadet branch of the family. Known for their fierce loyalty, the Karstarks face internal conflict during the War of the Five Kings when their lord, Rickard Karstark, betrays Rob Stark. This act of treachery leads to their downfall and underscores the themes of loyalty and honor that pervade the series.